Hey, yo, Chan. Yo, holla at me. It's your boy, Kid Crew, man. Crew, pick up the phone, baby. Yo, what up, Chan? Man, what's going on? It's your boy, Kid Crew. What's good, baby? Hold on for a second, man. Crew, let me set you up, all right? Yeah. For all my listeners out there, man, we got the opportunity to sit down, man, with a young and up and coming artist, man, and he goes by the name of Kid Crew. And we're going to sit down with this cat for a little while, man. He's going to let us know how he's doing things on his side of town. So, Crew, baby, what's good, son? How you doing these days, man? Oh, uh, man, I'm living, man. I'm trying to live out my dreams right now, man. I'm good. Yeah, no question about that, man. So, man, tell us all, man, you know what I'm saying, where you're originally from. And uh, and how long you actually been putting your thing down, you know? I mean, I'm from West L.A., California, you know, South L.A. You know, they changed the name up from South Central to South L.A. for all y'all out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I've been rapping for about, you know, a good nine years, nine and a half. You right. Know, I've been doing my thing. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So so what eventually got you into the game? You know what I mean? Like, you know, who, who was your inspiration to make you say to yourself that I can do this and not only can I do this, but I can do this well? Oh, well, man, straight off the top, man, my major inspiration was Nas Air Jones, man, Nas. I know I'm from the West Coast, but, you know, that's one of the first CDs I actually picked up that had the lyrics in the pamphlet. Right. You know, when you can actually go verse for verse to learn how to, you know, structure your bars and, you know, really got something talking about, you know, going on with issues in the world. Yeah. And I thought, like, you know, that's, that was something that interested me, you know what I'm saying? So right, that's right. where I started my... You know, started off that. Mm-hmm. So, so what kind of projects did you get done, man? Throughout that, throughout that time period, you know what I'm saying? Was you on some mixtapes? Did you break out some CDs? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, give us a little bit insight on what got you to where you was, you know, before 2012. Well, yeah, back in the day, man. You know, not too far back in the day, but like, you know, oh four, oh three. Yeah. You know, I used to rock with a couple cats. You know, what I'm saying we used to roll with Status Entertainment. You know, we was on a little movement called NBA. Mm-hmm. You know, never broke again. You know, before probably, you know, y'all heard with the new little Joe Budden songs and all that. Yeah, we was already out there. NBA, never broke again. You know, the Over Office, that was the name of the album. We had Big Will, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had Dusty Rhodes. We had E. Dot. Yeah. You know, we had Splurge Jones. You know, of course, myself and a couple more cats. And that's how we was, you know, making CDs and starting to push them around the area and sell them, you know what I'm saying, to people on Crenshaw and, you know, everywhere I was going and been the corners on. Yeah, that sounds like that's some good money, baby. Hey, listen, man, so we, you know, kind of speeding this up, you know what I'm saying, getting up to 2012, man, you know what I'm saying, a little something happened to you, you know what I'm saying, you can speak on it or not, depending on how you feel, you know what I'm saying, but there was an incident in your life when you chose, man, that you didn't think the rap game was for you no more. So give us a little insight, man, and all that would happen, man, and, you know, what changed your thought process, man, or actually getting re- getting back to putting it down the way it should be. Oh, yeah, man. Well, after, I mean, I, after leaving them cats, and then I dealt with some more cats before, man. It's like I did 200 and some songs, and it was at a standstill, you know. And then it was moving, and then, you know, I took time off, from, you know, a little bit. And, you know, one day things happened. You know, I was going to my boy Dom Kennedy concert, you know, at the House of Blues out here in Los Angeles. And, you know, I was, like, getting dressed and getting ready to, you know, get to my door. You know, I noticed my light was out, and, you know, long story short, you know, you know, niggas with ski masks on, one shotgun in my face, one to the back of my head. Yeah. You know, they, you know, one's like open the door, one's like, you know, go this way. So, you know, I said, guys, walk, you know, out, I fall my way through it, but they found me on the grass, you know what I'm saying, right. laid out. Right. You know what I'm saying? A couple things gone, but my life, though, that's right. the only thing that was my major concern. I still got my talent. So, you know, if that didn't take me, then, you know, I need to, you know, make this, this really go. Right. My talent really jump. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like, you know, once again, you it seems like once again you was inspired, you know what I'm saying, to put out some hot music, you know, from from whatever your experiences was, you know, to be able to take that, man, and put it in words and actually put it on tracks, you know what I'm saying, and let the world hear what you really got to say, you heard? Yeah, it's deeper. It's deeper, you know what I'm saying? It's just once I get an opportunity out here, you know, I ain't going to put too many life, life tracks out there, but that was a lot of inspiration of why the music is still going and why I want to do it just because, you know, yeah. I'm still here right now. It's my second time, you know what I'm saying? So okay. I, I don't know how many more, how many more lives I get. Yeah. I'm, I'm living. Yeah, no question, baby. So, all right, let's get to the project, man. Let's get to the, to, to, to this new project that you're coming out, man. You know what I'm saying? Is it a CD? Is it a mixtape? You know what I'm saying? You know, give us some insight, yeah. man. On what is it, man? What is it, man? 
Yeah, it's a, it's a mixtape, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be my first solo project. Okay. You know, mixtape. You know what I'm saying? It's called Now I'm Living. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to knock out some bangers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I might have a couple, you know, features, nice hot collabos. And basically, it's my, my first solo project. That's what I'm working on right now. Right, right, right. Mixtape. So, 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 so now, with being that this was your first solo project man did you did you feel like man this was kind of like a little harder to do because you're doing it by yourself you know what i'm saying or or was it easier because you're doing it by yourself and you get to flow right through it man without nobody getting in your way well you know it, it's kind of it's kind of like the gift and the curse because you can have four or five people on the verse and you're just knocking out an eight or 16 he's doing chorus you're knocking out but then, you know, it's, it's, I'll be hungry. You know, I'll be like, oh, I might want to get two verses on that. Or I want to get three. It's down in my song. Right. So I just eventually took it upon myself to say, I just ain't going to waste no more time. Kid Crew just going to go out there and just chase it by itself and just knock that shit out as hard as I, as yeah. I know what I can do. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? And hey, you got good music, baby. I'm saying, you know, if I'm going to say so myself, when I heard it, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, okay, you get money on this way. You know what I'm saying? Get I appreciate this. that, man. Yeah, appreciate ain't no, that. ain't no, ain't no question about that, man. So, so is there any particular song that you want to push the most off the, off the CD, off the mixtape? You know what I'm saying? Like, give us some insight on, on, you know, what you think is going to be the one that kind of puts you over the top. Well, I got a couple right now, you know, I might have this one called California, California Days for people that's, you know, just up on their California tip, you know, the Ray Bands, you know, the Jays Days, Nice Summertime Flow, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to work with my boy Dom, he told me I could take one of his beats grinding, so I got grinding for, you know, right. a couple of, you know, the thugs in the morning time, you know, wake up on their grind, ready to get it. No doubt. But right now, I might push that one that I like, you know, um, you know, this is, you know, this is, you know, now I'm living, you know. Mm-hmm. Is, I'm going to push that. Now I'm living. I'm going to push that, you know. Yeah, no question. So, so you got some videos coming up with the mixtape? Yeah, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do two. I got, I got one for the women. I'm going to do a called Your Girl. Okay. I'm going to give them that one. And then I'm going to give them uh, my new one that I got, you know what I'm saying, coming out to another one, another hot one. Maybe California Days. It might not be, but two videos, yeah. Yeah. Who putting your beats in, baby? Give, you know what I'm saying? Let your kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out my producer, <laughs> man. Signature on the track, man. Out here in Woodland Hills with it, man. Yeah. My boy Signature on the tracks, man. He out here lacing them up. Yeah. You know, he getting me right, my boy Track D. Yeah. You know, shout out West of Lakes, Track D, man. Yeah. <laughs> out there, you know. Yeah. All my boys up in the OGE. I see y'all. Yeah, no doubt. So by the end of this, is all over, baby. You know what I'm saying? Down the line, like I said, you know, whether it be two, five, ten years, you know, when when they hear the name Kid Crew, baby, what 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 will be said, man, about Kid Crew? Oh, see, it's an investment behind my name, man. You know, first and foremost, you know, Fresh Crew clothing line. You know, my boy, Mr. J. Fresh, we originated, you know, saying the name, the fabric, you know, just the lifestyle out here in California. So I took it upon myself to be one of the first, you know, just to go ahead and just affiliate the lifestyle with the music business and kid crew, you know, it just came all together. And, you know, everybody out here probably heard about Fresh Crew Club and then they see the PC and all the logos. Mm-hmm. So I'm just representing that to a full. That's yeah. what I'm doing. No doubt about that, man. All right, so you did, and so by you saying all that, that lets me know, man, that you got your business game. Sound like you got your business game in order. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, let your yeah. cats out there know, man, what it all, it just, it just don't take you being able to put music in. You also got to have your business sense together. So give us some insight, man, on, on, you know, what it takes to keep your business together. Oh, yeah, man. You got to make sure it's easy to get in the game, but it's hard to stay in. So, you know, once you figure out how to market yourself wisely, you know, you're playing with different fields and different venues and, you know, you got to open up to different crowds and universal it's not too much more local, you know, doing a mixtape circuit, you know, you fit in the stuff, but then you got to get a little bit bigger. So you got to have a business mind part about already ready in your brain, knowing that that's going to be the next step when they hit you with the, uh, here you go, the stamp. What? <laughs> yeah, so you ain't got the business right then. I don't know. You got to have the business. Right no up. question. I ain't your kid, man. Let me tell you something, man. You know what I mean? Regardless of what anybody might say, man, you're going to be all right, baby. You know what I'm saying? You know. I appreciate yeah, that, Yeah, no man. question, man. Thank you, you, yeah, no question, baby. You can hear it all in your words, son. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, man, listen, man. Before we go, though, I want to give you the opportunity, though, to shout out and plug everything and everybody that's helped you get to the point to where you are today. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. I want to shout out God, man, first. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. He the one. 
that kept me, you know what I'm saying, around just to live through my dreams, you know? Yeah. My mom, you know what I'm saying, Mom Dukes, you know, she's one of the coolest moms around town for all the cats that know about my mom, you know what I'm saying? I want to big up C Dabs, you know what I'm saying? She yeah. held me down, you know what I'm saying? She making it happen, Mafia Magazine. You know, Sangria, yeah. you know, send all my boys down from the Fresh Crew, yeah. you know, OPM, Other People's Money, my boy Dom Kennedy, Hardhead, Bad Gang, mm-hmm. Blurge Jones, you know, my, uh, you know, my producer signature on the tracks. And then, you know, send, of course, my homeboy, one of my ace boom coons, man, in, you know, E. Dot, Fresh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Willie Hills, E. Dot. So, you know, that's about it, man. No doubt. For all my listeners out there, man, I had the opportunity to sit down, man, with an incredible young artist, man, that's up and coming, man. Y'all be, y'all watch out for this cat, man, because I'm thinking this cat getting ready to do some big things, man, for real. Hey, Kid Crew, baby, I appreciate you coming out, spending your time with us, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, too, man. No, no doubt, baby. May you always be blessed, man, and continue to prosper in the things that you do every day, son. You heard? Hey, thanks, man. Yo, no, much love, man. Much love, no, man. No doubt, baby. Peace. Peace, man.